what's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about PlayStation, not the PlayStation 4 or the theorized PlayStation 5 that's out there in the ether. Today we're talking about the PlayStation 3. It's really funny how as new technology comes to the market and people play things like the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox Ones, Xbox Scorpios, that beloved consoles from, from gaming's past have to go out the door. And I know for nostalgic gamers, it's really hard to see a console that means so much to you in production. But we've recently seen what, that with the Wii U. Now we're seeing that with the PlayStation 3. Yes, PlayStation 3 apparently will be stopped production in Japan. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation 3 production to be stopped in Japan, according to Sony. The console first went on sale more than 10 years ago. So, I mean... It's been 10 years. Isn't it about time to let PlayStation go off to its soft grave? I mean, it's not like it came out three or four years ago. People who started playing PlayStation now are in college and have careers. So PlayStation 3, I think it had a very long life, and I think it deserves to have its peace now. The PlayStation 3 is about to die. Sony has announced that it will soon end production of the console in Japan. It is likely that it will stop being made everywhere else soon after. The company hasn't announced the date the production will come to an end or made a public announcement about it, but on Sony's website it lists the 500GB standard model as the only one remaining in production in the country and states that, quote, shipments are scheduled to end soon, end quote. The tweet from a gaming shop in Japan suggests that shipments will come to an end in March. The console was first released in November of 2006 and it was superseded in 2014 by the PlayStation 4. Sorry, uh, the PS4 came out in 2013. Sony has stated before that it works on a 10-year production cycle for all of its consoles until the console is coming to an end almost exactly as scheduled. And that better not be true with the PS4. I seriously doubt that's the case now. The end of production doesn't mean that anything will happen to existing PlayStation consoles, but it does mean that support will likely be cut off soon. The company is likely to slow down updates at the same time, potentially meaning that problems with the online services and digital downloads could go unfixed for some time, or at all. It's likely that some consoles will continue to be sold throughout the year, but they will probably be in shorter supply, potentially pushing for a resale value of the systems. So, when one comes, another one goes, you know? When one wins, another one blows. And right now, it's time for the PlayStation to go! I could be a poet and don't know it. Yeah, it's time. I think it's well within that time for PlayStation 3 and for the Xbox 360 to become part of the gaming shrine to never be played again. It's like right now, I'm looking, you know, my, my console collection, I got a Sega Genesis, I got a Wii U, a Wii, Sega Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, 64, PlayStation 1, GameCube, Sega Saturn, Game Gear, you know, Xbox, the original Xbox, PS3s, Xbox 360s, these things are meant for collectors now. And I mean, if that's where you potentially, if that's where you want to go for your main gaming experience, it's still going to exist. And PS3 has an incredible uh, library of games, but I think Sony is well within their right to end production of the PS3 so they can focus on the PlayStation 4 and potentially what their futures are with the PlayStation 5, which I believe will be announced sometime this year, believe it or not. It might come out 2019, but I think they're going to start talking about it this year. You guys let me know in the comments section, what was your favorite PlayStation 3 game? If I had to go with it, I'd have to say The Last of Us. It was just too damn good, but I know there's tons of other uh, PS3 games that could fight for that title. You guys let me know what yours was in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and your thoughts at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.